Somebody please tell them that the youth have woken up from their slumber, P2B says. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party and the former governor of Anambra State, P2B, has dropped a bombshell regarding the youth's recent behaviors towards the forthcoming 2023 general election. In his tweet, the former governor of Anambra State said, that somebody should tell them, his rivals, that the youths have woken up from their slumber. According to his tweet, the youths of Nigeria have been seemingly unconcerned about the leadership of the country. However, as fate may have it, they have realized that they are not being well led and governed. Therefore, they have decided to make the ultimate move to ensure that the right leader is elected come 2023. Peter B has the support of many Nigerian youths as the next president of Nigeria. Majority of the youths are campaigning for him, especially in their various social media handles. Nigerian celebrities, the likes of Peter Okoye and his brother Paul Okoye, have shown the ultimate support for him. The other day, the youth of Nigeria took to various streets across the country to show their support and solidarity to him in what they call the one million match, the one million man matches. However, Peter B believed that the youth of Nigeria are with him, and to show his acknowledgement, he proudly said that the youth have finally woken up from their slumber. Peter B also urged everyone to get the PVC, for this is the only weapon they can use to vote out the bad eggs and vote in the Messiah. Sincerely, a lot of us. <laughs> Somebody said something that is very, very, very funny. The person said, collect their money and vote me to be as president. Ah, Papa, I've been, say, I've been saying it here oh, that if that day, hungry catch me, hungry no catch me, I come out, I see whether they share money, they share and reach me. I don't go meet them. They share and reach me, oh, concern me, say, ah. Hey, my dear, please vote for PDP or APC. In fact, if I collect for APC, I go pocket time. If PDP see what I come with, I go pocket time. If I do finish, I go stay here with them. Now you not go win. Don't worry. They might worry. Don't be, you know, don't be worried. You understand? Then I'm going to vote for the most competent candidate. That is what I said I would do. Sincerely, if you like, call me that I'm not a person of integrity. See, integrity has not solved our problem in this country at all. In this thing, a part of the money, me and you, money, money that they would have used to make Nigeria life and Nigerians' life better, then they share them up and down. Hmm. Okay? Yes, we have woken up from a slum by the middle board, especially Plateau State, just south local government, over voter, intact for you by God's great. We will dance Obi Kereke. <laughs> okay, now the most important thing, just like you said in the ending part, you get your PVC. It is only the PVC, it is not by mouth, it is not by hiding behind your screens and typing all those things. It is by coming out. Get your PVC. They said the end of this month is the last, that is the deadline for the registration. So please, people. If you know you have not gotten your PVC, if you know you have PVC that dates back to four, five, six, seven, eight years ago, please take it down there and ask them if it is validated. If, the, if it is not, let them revalidate it for you so that you can vote. And of course, tell them you want to come outside from your house. Immediately you come outside from your house, you step your leg into your voting booth. That is if you are relocated within the space of four, eight years that they have done election. If you are living in, let's say for instance, in the eastern part, you relocated to at the western part and relocated to the northern part just to ensure that you go and make sure you make it close to your house for easy access so that you will not say ah i need to relocate i really need to go to this place and do and cast my vote then you know and you'll be your ass after that day go and vote after you cast a vote you enter your house back yes so okay Peter B, Peter B, or Peter B is our next president of Nigeria. No forces from the power of darkness and Nigerian corrupt elite can stop Peter B. The youth of Nigeria have woken indeed like a raging wildfire. Nothing shall stop their way in making Peter B our next president of Nigeria by God's grace. Okay? If we use our ready, we can send all this old papa packing. 
Mind you, our voter card is our powers. I like the way everybody is saying it now. Nobody will say they, they did not hear. Nobody will say they did not hear. Nobody will say they did not hear that. It will get to a PVC. The thirtieth of this month. Let me turn to. I, uh, let me turn to. Let me have them to market it. <laughs> the, your PVC is your voice. As a Nigerian, see. This all this one they are saying, God willing, uh, is going to bring out. God will not bring out anything. What did I say? God will not bring out. God has given me and you the right, the opportunity. Number one, he gave us life. So that on that day, you will stand up and vote. Number two, he now gave you legs. Imagine you, know, you that have two legs. So you have your complete two legs. You can go out of your house. You can vote. Number three, he now gives you the power of choice. Nobody will come to you and tell you, hey, vote for this one. Even if they say you vote for this one. Mm, no, no problem. If they talk, ah, you have heard, you have heard, no problem. No problem. On that day, you don't even need to announce who you vote to. Don't, don't go announce someone. Even before that day, just be coming down. On that day, go out, cast your vote. Come back, continue sitting down. All we need to do is to vote a good leader. See, if you vote a good leader, eh, it is just like when you leave Nigeria to another country. In Nigeria here, you pay for light, you pray for light. You pay for water, you pray for water. You pay for, you, 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 you pay taxes, yes, good roads are not given to you. But in other parts of Nigeria, you pay for all those things, I get it. Which means, other parts of Nigeria, you keep telling God, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Abby. So, you now voting for a good leader, it will be likened to that situation. You will be, as you are, as you are paying for things. It's not going to be easy, I'm going to say it too. It's not going to be easy. This is just the beginning. I just hope that after P2B comes in, everybody will not freeze out. We should continue like this in all the manner. He should go in and make sure our constitution, they read everything. They, re, they, re, they redo everything. In fact, that constitution, that's, that's a, that document that is against thought. In short, they should trash it out and bring another one. You know, make people, people to feel belong. Make even the minorities, those who have been... Who have been clamoring ah they're not looking at our face so we want to go let them give that people a sense of belonging let that people say ah, ah not so good leadership this sweet ah if they're like this i don't go anywhere oh you know when you let's say for instance you are you are like you want to go they're not treating you fine then somebody comes in and gives you what you have not seen before ah gives you leadership ah you're like ah no here they sweet here is no i'm not the go again you understand eh hey, hey that it is how it's supposed to be so your PVC is your power. Your PVC is God's is God's uh, mandate on you. Yes, make sure you get it. And make sure on that day, you as well come out and cast your vote for the most competent person. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We see.